So we had that cold front come through over the weekend. The last few nights have been below the freezing point, including early this morning. Look at that 6 a.m. down to about 30 degrees. Here we are only at 4 p.m. So literally 10 hours later, we're in the mid 60s. Yeah, that's quite a rapid warm up. And yesterday, yeah, we still warmed up into those mid 50s, but we're now about 10 degrees warmer in those mid 60s. Still nothing but those clear skies, a little bit of upper level clouds, not an issue whatsoever. High pressure is back in. It's very dry. Now, why are we warming up so quickly compared to most of these cold fronts usually last about at least a day or two and we only got, you know, a night. Well, it's because of those southerly winds. High pressure has actually moved out to the east. That's resulted in overall overall winds shifting pretty quickly. And when they get that southerly flow, it brings in very warm, very dry air. So we're looking at anything from a 5 to 15 degree temperature difference from yesterday. An increase, of course, 8 degrees warmer out of Midland, 12 degrees warmer out of Big Spring, 14 degrees warmer out of Snyder. So certainly interesting how quickly we can warm up. So what about as we head into the overnight hours? Well, notice how we have nothing but those clear skies with those clear skies. No wind, no or not no wind, no clouds and no rain. We're going to cool off relatively quickly, but because of how much we warmed up during the day, we're still we're actually not going to be in the widespread 30s. Still, certainly some upper 30s are possible. That's always going to be a given, given how large our region is. But I got those lower 40s for tonight. Still, it's those southerly winds still maintaining that flow and keeping us relatively warm. All right. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Maybe I should have become a poet because roses are red. You are second to none. Tomorrow's forecast calls for sunny skies and a high of 71. Yeah, yeah, uh, thank you. Anyway, I do see this low pressure system with a trough kind of sitting out to our west. This trough itself not really going to be influencing us a whole lot. As a matter of fact, it's just going to be doing its little dance over in West Texas. Southerly winds are going to be on the eastern side of it. Westerly winds are going to be on the westerly side of it. That's just how it works. And basically we see those warm temperatures. Cloud cover is going to begin building rapidly going into Thursday overnight. What does that mean for us? Eh, basically nothing. We're just going to see some cloudy skies. Temperatures themselves still staying decently warm going into that later part of the week. Cold front is going to be approaching on Friday. Friday is really my only issue because I actually see temperatures not really uh, doing a whole lot of stuff. So basically the cold front could come in middle of the afternoon. We could hit high of 68. We could hit a high of only 60. It is going to be subject to change. So I should put like a little asterisk on our Friday high temperature cooling down by Saturday a good bit. No rain with this system, but then just like what we saw this week, we're warming up rapidly. We're going back into the 60s by Sunday, 70s by Monday, 80s by Wednesday. You know what? I know it's far out in the nine day, but I think we can hope that holds true. Jolena. All right, Jordan. Thanks. I'm in a